Hey guys, and welcome to a Therapist Task Guide, Operation Aquarius Part 2. For this task, we're going to need to kill 15 scavs on customs. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So in front of you is a map showing you all of the spawns for scavs on customs. So we are going to start off on the left hand side of the map, which is the custom side or the big red side with the storage units. Over here, you can get a decent amount of scavs, maybe like three to five. They do walk between the storage units and the big red building. So just watch out for the grass hallway, which separates the big red and the storage units because they can see through grass where we can't. So you can get easily caught off guard if you're not careful. Going over the bridge, you got ice cream and the scavs like to walk all the way down to the welcome to Tarkov truck, which is the garages where the RUAF roadblock is. They do walk up and down and again, there is tall grass there. So you do need to watch out for the scavs because if they catch you off guard, you can get absolutely rinsed. We're going through the wall now into construction. Construction is a decent spot. This is a high traffic area and you do need to watch out for the sniper scav because, well, he will snipe you as well as the sniper scav that is on the two giant white towers off in the distance. His aim is absolutely cracked. Now, in the dorms area, this is a pretty decent place. Watch out for Rochella because he is an absolute nutcase with his guards. He will just two-tap you and it's, it's all wonderful fun times. Also, dorms is a very high PvP area. So if you are looking for a PvP fight whilst you're kind of new to Taki, knock yourself out. Dorms is definitely one of the spots to do that. And you can get a decent amount of scavs there, maybe between five and seven. Making your way back down the road towards the factory shacks where the bus station is. This is a pretty decent place to kill scavs because they do walk across the road and into Skeleton. But bear in mind with the tall grass lining each side of the road by factory shacks, you do need to watch yourself because they will just shoot you straight through it. Making our way downtown, walking fast into the fortress. This is another spot where a shallow can spawn, so you do need to watch yourself. The fortress is pretty good because... It's quite a center of a map, so you, you might be able to hear some shots and tell where players are, so you can move accordingly to that. But here, you can get around about three to five scavs. Now, new gas station is a pretty decent spot. It's the final spawn on our list for Rochella, so you do need to watch yourself there. And the scavs are inside the building. You might, if you're going to be in, um, coming from the customs side, like the dorm side, into new gas station, you do need to watch yourself for the glass because the scavs can see through that without an issue where you will have an issue looking through and they do look all around this area as well making our way over to the military base checkpoint this is a pretty decent place but you do need to watch out for sniper scav which is on top of the sniper scav building and on top of the checkpoint because he is absolutely cracked and he will shoot you through the windows and you basically he will see you before you see him kind of situation going through the two holes in the wall you have a choice of going right towards the cranes or left towards the admin area at the admin gate and the boiler side if you were to go to the boiler side you can get around about three to five scavs if you are going to turn right and go towards the crane area now this place is really good for scavs i've had it where i've got seven to ten scavs in this place alone to get these kills and then finally making your way to, down to the old gas station this is also a decent place to get scavs you might find about three to five scavs not a lot, but they are quite consistent if someone already hasn't hit them. If you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with, head over to prana.tv slash discord. We do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a Sherpa system. So if you just need a bit more help than normal, then we are there to help you. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash piranha TV. And a big thank you to Beansy and Freddy. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do.